This is Katie with Granny's Legacy here in our studio today to talk a little bit about using uh, press and seal wrap as a method for design transfer. This is a method that we love to use. It's simple, it works every time, and you get great precision. Um, so how it works is in each pattern that uses it, um, on the back we'll write that we use press and seal um, on the back of your pattern. And then usually in our project instructions, I'm using Addison which is a cute little 10 inch round mat. In our project instructions, um, just in the beginning, it'll have a section where it talks about transfer, right here. And then you can see the basic uh, directions on how to do it uh, right here. So I'll go over that with you. Uh, so to do that, you will need a permanent marker. We like the Sharpie, uh, just fine tip black, and then Glad Press and Seal Wrap. And this stuff is magical. Um, it can be found in the grocery store by the tin foil or plastic wrap and uh, wax paper and stuff like that. And it's a Glad product and then it is it works like plastic wrap. So it's on a roll and you just um, pull it out, tear it off, and one side is slightly tacky and the other is not. Um, so in your pattern there will be a sheet that will say transfer sheet. And this is the sheet that we use uh, for the press and seal transfer. So for this design, we're transferring um, the tendrils that will be chain stitched and the oak leaf stems that will be stem stitched. So all you need to do, and you don't even need a light box, is lay the press and seal wrap on top of your pattern page, on top of the transfer, press it down, and then with your Sharpie marker or your permanent marker of choice, just draw those tendrils. And I have discovered that when you're using a black background, a red um, permanent marker actually shows off really, oops, really well. Um, or a blue tends to show off. I don't know how it works, but um, I'm using black because it's what I have here. So we're just going to trace those lines. You'll probably do it neater than I am because you won't be working upside down. <laughs> um, so we're just tracing those. And then we're also going to trace the circle. And this is just for making it easier to line up and center this design on your oh, black circle. And there we go. So we have transferred everything we need to transfer. Um, and in our patterns, we write right on the transfer sheet here, there's a little paragraph that talks about what to transfer. Um, and then we bring it over to our background, which I have pre-cut, and simply just align the drawn circle on your background, lining up your circle. And then when you get it in place, press down with your hands to secure. And then I like to lay it on my cutting mat and just trim around the edge with my rotary cutter. And you're ready to stitch right through it. Um, so you stitch right through the press and seal wrap with your, however it's instructed in your pattern, with your pearl cotton, just stitch right through it. When you're done, peel the press and seal wrap off and you're ready to add your applique shapes. So thank you for joining us today and happy stitching.